Welcome to JB Lessons. I'm JB. In today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to read ukulele tab. In this section, I want to talk to you about reading tablature. Now, if ever you see T-A-B, tab, it's short for tablature. And if you find the thought of reading music quite daunting, when I say music, I mean standard notation like this. Tab is almost like shorthand, you can think of it as that way. It's the easy way. It has some benefits and some drawbacks. The benefit is it's almost like if you ever you've tried the paint by numbers where it says this section here is number one and all the number ones are blue. It's kind of like that but for music it tells you what string and what fret. That's the information. So it will give you the main melody line. However, it doesn't give you the rhythm if you have tab on its own. So that's why I've included a bit of tab and standard notation later on in this course. Now the important thing to remember with tab is that it's kind of upside down. Let me explain. If you were looking at guitar tab, you would have six lines. Each line is a string. For ukulele, we have four strings, so that's why we have four lines. Now, the line you see at the bottom is actually your G string. So it would be G, C, A, E. Now, the way to think of it is if you've got your ukulele and your tab, think of it as the bottom line on your tab has been like this, and that should help you out. So the bottom line on your music is actually the top line on the ukulele. The top line on the music is the bottom line. Seems weird, but that's the way it is. Now, like I said to you, the numbers tell you what fret. So if we look at the example that's in your PDF, we can see it says 0, 2, 3, 2 like this, and all your numbers are in a line. If you see numbers in a line, it means play together at the same time. If you see numbers staggered, like this example, that means play them one at a time, reading from left to right like reading a book. Whenever you see one, you play one. So example one would be zero on the G string. You need a two on the C string, a three on the A string, and a two on the E string. Well, if you look, that's actually our chord of G that we've learned earlier on. If we see them together, we play them together. If you see them one at a time, we play them one at a time. What is a melody? Well, um, the easiest way to describe a melody is of a song, it's the main line, the most memorable piece. So if I said to you, oh, how does that song go? The melody would be the bit that you whistle or hum or sing to get that information across. Now, melodies are primarily single notes at a time. You do have some double notes in there, but normally chords, two or more notes, melody, single notes, one at a time. When we're playing our melodies, I want you to try and either use a plectrum or try and hold your fingers like you've got a pick. You can do it with your thumb, but I want you to try and practice doing downstrokes and upstrokes on each string. So if you see this symbol, that's going to mean a downstroke, and if you see this, that will mean an upstroke on the string. 